Hey everybody, this is Harshad and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to be looking at meme coins and how you can actually use DeepSeek R1 and proxies to basically automate meme coin trading and get alpha signals. So what are alpha signals? All right, I'm actually not talking about the alpha meme coin here, but what I'm actually talking about is the alpha signals. That means getting meme coin signals in your terminal before it reaches a 500k market cap so that is the goal here because um what actually happens is when you are trying to play with meme coins you want to find and catch those um meme coins that are under 1 million market cap maybe that's when you can actually get um a lot of multiples right and again this is not financial advice we're just doing this for fun because this is possible to do so with code and it's on the on the Solana blockchain, so it's super easy to do that. And the APIs and everything that I'm sharing is all publicly available. So if you are trying to play around with meme coins, only play around with the amount that you can actually afford to lose because meme coins are super super volatile. But again, let's get a dive. Let's dive into this first. All right. So the first thing that I see is all right. So there's a deep seek meme coin itself. Deep seek meme meme coin is something. Uh, people have just been playing around with and this is again eight million dollar market cap so yesterday i used the same bot that i'm going to share with you guys and i found a, a meme coin which was under 200k market cap and that actually went to eight million dollars it was called not naut it was again the narrative was based off of deep seeks first ever meme coin so it was called not and that went up to around eight to ten million and then it dropped back again but how do you find these, right? So a couple of things here. First, let's look into DeepSeek R1. By now, we already know what DeepSeek R1 is and how it compares to uh, the OpenAI and other legacy models as well and why the entire Twitter is going gaga over this and why um, I, I think $2, two trillion dollars have been wiped out out of the US uh, stock market just because of the of this DeepSeek R1 release, right? So there is something in it. There is a lot of value to extract here and the code that it gives is absolutely amazing. So what I've done is I went back to cursor and if you can see, if you just go on to chat, you can click on DeepSeek R1 and then you can make it, you can actually ask it to build the whole um, script here. So if you're not able to find this, the first thing is you'll have to upgrade your cursor. So first go ahead and up upgrade, update your cursor. And then just go to settings and click on models. And this is where you'll be finding them here. <clears throat> this is where I'm actually able to find 01, 01 mini, uh, claw 3.5 sonnet and R1. So deep seek R1 is what we want to be using here. So that is when you can basically select here, uh, which is deep seek R1, which is the latest and greatest model, which has wiped out $2 trillion out of the US stock market, right? Um, because this has a lot of value to offer. It's a disruptor. All right, so now that we've, we're super clear about what exactly to use, you can go ahead and read this entire research paper as well. So I'm just going to link it down below if you're not already. If you do understand the technicals, you should. If you do not, you know how to do it. Go to Notebook LM, ask it to summarize. But now, before that, I came across this tweet. All right, so this tweet is by this guy called Symbiote. He says, um, he used DeepSeek trading bot and it it basically hacked Dex Screener. <clears throat> I don't think hack is the right word to use. I think it's basically like a clickbait thing, but it does actually use the Dex Screener API. So I did go through the entire uh, thread as well, and I kind of replicated something similar up here. So this is if if you're wondering what this is, it's basically um, Dex Screener API documentation. And again, I'm going to leave the link down below. Go check it out. So this is the entire documentation and you don't have to look if you're a non coder again, right? You don't have to understand any of this. You don't have, you don't have to do any of this. So make sure it's just in JavaScript. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why as well. All right. So make sure it's, it's in JavaScript and all you got to do is just copy this, go back to deep, uh, uh, um, go back to your cursor and just paste it here and then ask it, give it a prompt to create a complete script. All right, so the script is also ready. I'm also gonna give you the prompt as well 
the everything's going to be down below so the prompt that's going to be in a document it's in a google docs which you can just open and then just copy paste it here and oh, and i recommend you using deepseek r1 because the other models aren't really that good all right so now that you got it here this is where a cursor understands the entire api documentation here so now it knows what exactly are the documents if it forgets something all you have to do again is just go ahead just go take a screenshot of this and just paste it here because when i was using composer um composer was actually it, it was hallucinating a little bit so i just had to give all my documentations um much more clearly so that's when it was able to use it but for now i'm just going to reject this all right so now you now you know the drill this is done you got the dex screener api as well and now it's a public api right when it's a public api there are limits and look at it so get the latest token profiles and rate limit 60 requests per minute so this is where proxies help out and this is actually our channel's very very first sponsor and they're actually very good friends with me tulip proxies and they were kind enough to share um you know how how, how tulip proxies work right so now i'm just going to share with you guys why you should why i recommend you guys using tulip proxies because when you use other proxies this trick might not work because what you in, uh, what you're essentially doing here is dex screener um is is basically ip blocking you you can't use more um you, you basically can't get a lot of tokens from a single a single api in a single uh, ip location so that's when you'll be using tulip io so tulip is the lightning fast proxies and it ha actually has global ip variety and what i mean by this is if you go to the dashboard you basically see uh, if i just show you my configuration list i have five just in united states itself and i can create I, if i generate proxies i can just go create from any country so basically dex screener is going to think that we are coming from like our our api request calls are coming from like various different countries and we won't be having such bad hard restrictions right so that's why i really recommend you guys go use tulip io all right so and now what i'm actually using here is actually a couple of these and in my dashboard as you can see i've got dedicated data center proxies global isp proxies and rotating residential proxies so this is something that's actually important it has another different use case but for this one i'm just going to use global isp proxies and again you guys know the drill you don't you don't have to know anything right just go click on show configuration click on generic and copy the code paste it here simply paste it here and now the same thing this go nodejs why nodejs because when we were here when we were in the dex screener reference we selected javascript that's like javascript right so the same thing is it's supposed to be in the same language so make sure it's nodejs copy it and then simply paste it and now when you use my prompt and all of this configuration and then just simply click enter you get this code all right so simple readme code as well um you have a simple readme code um it just you know generates a simple readme and the package also it generates dex screener also it generates so everything is properly generated and everything's done here all right so now we go ahead initiate a bot also this is just the first step of the bot and i think that's the most important step so that you basically get all um the information about the latest meme coin tokens all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to expand this and run npm install i've actually installed the packages already so i'm just going to do node dex underscore screener dot js which will basically run this code and again hope you guys got everything covered here we basically use the a dex screener um api uh, from here and we we had to use a uh, proxies again proxies super important use tulip.io again and now you use r1 and then you just go ahead and just click enter right now it's going to enter this all right so it's it's scanning it's called dex scanner and that's that's what i call my bot and powered by tulip proxies with that shield emoji as you can see 
and I'm basically using five different proxies because you know I want to I want to rotate these proxies. So in my prompt, as you can see, it clearly mentions that it's a rotating proxy as well. So for rotating proxies, you would actually need a couple of these proxies that you can simply use. If you got only one, you can still give it a try. It will definitely work. But I recommend having at least five proxies. And now when you do that, when you run that, all right, so I'm just going to, I just got, um, I just got five different tokens, all right? So I've got, I just got five different Solana tokens. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and check this out. So I'm just going to click on the URL, open it. All right. So yes, it's basically under 500K market cap. And as you can see, this could be something that would moon, right? Like we call it, it could moon in, um, if, in the sense of, you know, um, becoming bigger than what it currently is. All you need is money. This is funny, all right? So now let's just go ahead and click on this one. And now let's see what we get again. 71k all right this looks good you know or maybe maybe i should just go buy it right or maybe i should just go buy it but yes under um 500k again okay maybe maybe not i don't know i just do a little bit of research as well but it's a great filtering mechanism you don't have to go and look into all the tokens it basically filters everything out and gives it to you and now imagine you also add a rug detector or an lp lock detector I mean, if it's pump, if it's already built on pump.fun, you know, it's LP log, but imagine you are looking into other meme coins and you can basically do that as well. IP logged. But again, remember, I'm just going to go back to our sponsor of the video because it's so, it's just so important. Like proxies are so important without proxy. It's so difficult. All right. So now let's go ahead and check the other one. All right. So what is this one called? Okay. So this doesn't really have an icon, nothing. It's just got um the pump link let's just open that okay so it's 10k yeah it's pretty much dead pretty much dead it rugged already all right so now this one as well again it's under 500k market cap but yes we actually do need a lot of filtering as well and um you can just go check this uh, twitter thread out where you can um you know you can basically look into this twitter thread and can learn how you can do that as well. And you can, you can create your own set of rules and everything. Yes. This was another one that I, that I saw as well. Um, it's called deep seek trading bot hag pump dot fun. So I think this was the original thread and the other one was, you know, like an imitation thread. So this one's got like 1.1 million views and it's a, it's a very similar strategy, right? It's a super similar strategy. And now how do you do the exact same thing with pump dot fun? So now what you do is you don't go to pump.fun because pump.fun doesn't have an official API. There is one, it's called pump portal.fun. It's got unofficial API. So as you can see, it's a third party API for radium and pump.fun. And now you just do the same thing. All you need is a data API and the best part data API is free. All right. But again, there will be restrictions. So you would have to use tulip proxies to bypass those re restrictions. Let's go to JavaScript and then Again, you know, you guys know the drill by now. Just go copy, copy paste this entire thing here, or you can just go simply take this link. I just go to chat and just do web first, do web first and then paste it here. All right. So then it does a better job. All right. So I think that's all for this one. Hope you guys know, right? Because right now you have to understand the workflow. Once you understand the workflow, you can literally build anything with a deep seek R1 and tulip proxies because there is literally no limitations to what you can build. And I think we're living in a great time where you can build stuff crazy, right? It's just so much you, that you can build. And I think I, I hope you guys love this video. And I think it was a long one because, you know, we had a lot to dive in. Uh, but yes, that's that's all for this video. Definitely go ahead, check out tulip proxies. These guys have the best proxies available and they, they literally never fail, right? They literally never fail. I, I, I use them, set them and I'm done. So yeah, I basically use these proxies and uh, yeah, guys, I think that's all for the video. Hope you guys liked it. Try out, try doing with meme coins, try, try doing it with AI agents. I think um, right now we're living in a great time where your imagination is the limit. So you can literally build out anything in a matter of days. So I think, um, yeah, hopefully you guys build something productive 
And uh, yeah, that's all for this video again. See you guys in the next one. Peace.